Hey friends, today we are checking into Disney's Riviera Resort and I am going to be staying in what I believe is one of Disney's smallest resort rooms. I am so excited to give you a grand tour and also just enjoy the resort itself. Maybe get something to eat and take in all the beautiful views. Anywho's, let's go do this. Disney's Riviera Resort is such a beautiful resort and I have stayed here before but I've never stayed inside the studio tower rooms and a lot of people say that they are the smallest Disney Resort rooms so I wanted to come out and show you guys and also show you all the benefits that you get from actually staying here. Now, by saying that the resort rooms are small, we're not saying that as a bad thing. Some people actually really love these resort rooms, and maybe I might love them as well too, but there are a fair amount of people that say they are just a little bit too small. So we'll give you a look and let you be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, yeah, ooh, the sun is coming out. I have dinner reservations at Topolino's, which is the restaurant at the very top of the Riviera Resort, but before we actually make our way to our room, I do want to stop and get myself a coffee in the lobby because they have some of the best coffees and cakes that you can get on Disney property right here inside the resort. This being the newest Disney World Resort, it has a distinguished smell already that I absolutely love. Every time I walk into the lobby and I get a whiff of that lobby air, it is so amazing. Before we head up and I give you a nice room tour, I do want to grab myself a coffee and maybe some cookies from the cafe in the lobby here. I love the lobby in here. It's so beautiful. And like I said, it's got kind of a special smell, it being the newest resort. I feel like all Disney resorts have special smells like the Polynesian, the Contemporary, but this one's got one of their own. The cafe in the lobby is one of my favorite places to get a coffee and also a light snack. Like I said, we have dinner reservations a little bit later on, so just a little bit, just a little cookie maybe. Look at all the amazing snacks they got. They've got some nice tarts, a seasonal cupcake, and then over here are my favorite, the lemon madelines. Look at these bad boys. So we're definitely gonna go with some of those and then a coffee. I decided to grab my coffee and come sit out on one of the patios that they have right outside the lobby there. There's not too many uh, spots to sit down inside the cafe, but it is beautiful out here. Nice comfy chairs. There's my coffee. And take a look at just this courtyard. Isn't it amazing? I really, really like it over here. And it actually has two pools at this resort. Here's one of the pools, and then they have the main pool over there. Oh wait, or maybe they have three pools. I'm a little confused, I'll have to check it all out. And I think that's some bocce ball down there. But we're gonna just hang out here for a second, drink the coffee, and enjoy the Madelines. I love these Madelines, they are so amazing. Lemon ones. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna head up to the room and I'm gonna give you the room tour. I love the packaging on these. That is so cute, isn't it? I really like this. And we're gonna open them up and wow. Look at these bad boys, little tiny things. So delicious though. Look at the powdered sugar on top of them. I ended up getting a nice little cold brew, but they didn't have any uh, lids for their cups to go. So they put it in a hot cup and I'm just excited to eat these. <laughs> these are so, so good. So airy and like, Fluffy, oh, I love him. Here is a look at the map of the resort and it looks like we're gonna be staying in the West Wing. Ooh, I like that. And uh, we're gonna be on the seventh floor and uh, room 8723. And this resort is pretty big and there are firework views and I'm pretty sure we've got a firework view. That gets me so super excited that we're gonna be able to watch the fireworks from our balcony if we wanted to. Now that we got our room number, I think it's time we head up to our room. I'm so excited. And like I said before, we're staying in the West Wing, which is kind of funny because I've always been told to stay out of the West Wing, but that's where we're gonna be spending the night tonight. That was just a little Beauty and the Beast joke. Nobody told me I wasn't allowed to go to the West Wing. <laughs> we're gonna have to take the elevator up to the seventh floor. I like the elevators in here, they're very classy. The whole resort is just clean and fresh. Look at the floors. Also, they have amazing artwork throughout the halls of the resort that I wanna point out as we get to our room. 
Look at all of the walls, the carpet, and here's some of the artwork that I was talking about. It is so nice. It's the princesses. And take a look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? And I think they have some on this side too. Oh yeah, right over here. We have Rapunzel and Ariel. So nice. Now, these studio tower rooms that I'm staying at are just in the far corners. I think there's two towers, I'm not too sure. And uh, they have a different layout than all the other rooms do because it's kind of rounded. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get in there. And here we are in the tower section. And like I said, there's only gonna be three rooms on this side because it's all just like kind of in a big circle. See what I mean? So we are right here, 8723. And here we are, ta-da! This is it right here, folks. We got a nice little couch with a pull-out bed and lots of other space here. No kitchen area except for this right here. This is like the kitchen area. And uh, it's got a little balcony over here and then a bathroom right here. So no bed and no other room. This is it. Like uh, I think about 230 to 250 uh, square feet. I mean, not too much, like I said. Very, very tiny. And also, this is the uh, resort TV right here. So it's got like its own resort TV, Disney Riviera Resort, not like the regular resort TV that I would normally see. As someone just being here by myself, I love this. Everything is so neat and compact and it's got an amazing view. I'm gonna show you the view and trust me when I say it is an amazing view. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of give you a room tour. I feel like this is gonna be my quickest room tour because I really don't have anywhere to go. Like, this is the distance of the room. And that's it. <laughs> We'll start off right here in the kitchen area, right next to the bed and the sofa. And we've got a little cupboard right here. And inside there, we've got an extra pillow and blanket, a toaster, some uh, plastic forks and silverware, a paper towel roll, a nice little microwave below it. Very nice. And then, the mini fridge and of course fully stocked Bud Light and French vanilla creamer can't go wrong with that and then right next door we have some storage drawers a couple of shelves an ice bucket and a cup once we give the full tour and I show you the balcony and the view then we're gonna talk about how much this room cost because I feel like that's a big deciding factor so we're gonna move along right next to the kitchen area we've got the bed but let's not jump to the bed quite yet let's talk about the desk and coffee area we got a nice little desk over here a comfy chair it's got a nice Riviera phone a nice coffee machine or a Keurig no French vanilla creamer though but they do give you like the uh, Joffrey's uh, Keurig cups and that's awesome some more drawer space with the Bible and then some more shelving So it's basically just all right here everything that you need you just get up roll over to your left Microwave some food roll over to your right make a cup of coffee Now we're gonna pull down the bed and this is probably one of my favorite things about this room other than the view But this is really nifty there we go. I'm gonna pull it right down and you see the couch actually folds up. Oh, I think I need to move that out of the way, but we could probably pull it down like this. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? That's beautiful. I really, really love that mural. And the bed itself is very comfortable. And you get a nice shot of the TV right there. And yeah, this is basically it. We have the bathroom right here. We're gonna go check that out next, but I think I'm gonna put the bed back up. Can do it one-handed, but it does take a little strength. Oop. There we go. Back to normal. I'm still not too sure what I think of this though. I wonder if I'm just missing it, but do they have the old resort TV anywhere on there? It tells you the room number in the corner though. It actually tells you your like welcome family when you walk in. 
But now let's go check out the bathroom in here. And bathroom, I really, really like. It is so nice, a nice walk up, uh, walk in shower. Look at that. It's actually big. It's almost bigger than the whole room on the outside. Oh, very pretty mirror. Hi friends. Looks like we don't got the free shampoo and conditioner. And let's see how the shower works. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, you can do it, it goes both of them. Fancy. Ah, got shut off, I don't know which one I hit. We, nope, done. Very good. We also got a little storage closet in the bathroom. Comes with another extra pillow and blanket. We got a wall safe, an ironing board, a collapsible laundry basket. I love these. Wow, I wonder if I can, nope, nope, not gonna happen. There we go. <laughs> I like it. Let me just put that down. There we go. Very nifty, very fitting for this room. Now, I do want to say, these rooms are very numbered. There's, I think, 18 of them, so they're actually hard to come by, and people actually do enjoy them. I think we're going to end up enjoying it, too. Now, let's head back out to the bedroom, living room, and take a look at the rails on the window. I love the Riviera because they have these little hidden Mickey rails, and isn't that so amazing? So cool, and also the curtains have hidden Mickeys on them too, I believe. Very nice. And like I said before, don't judge this room until we see the view. And we're gonna go out on the balcony right now. It's gonna be a little bit bright. They also have a shade that comes over this. I'm gonna go out here. I like the Riviera chairs. The balcony is very nice. And you got this amazing view right there look at that that is epcot you can actually see the top of the harmonious barge right there you can see all of world showcase this is beautiful this is a huge fireworks view i'm going to try to show you a little bit closer i don't know if you can see the harmonious barge right here and then also spaceship earth and guardians of the galaxy that is amazing right this is so beautiful I could sit out here for hours. Let me tell you something. This room might be small, but I love it. It is so beautiful. And the price, like I said, we'll talk about the price, can go from $300 to $600. And this is all Disney Vacation Club, but that's what I looked up and that's what it said, from three to six. And I think it's just beautiful. I mean, a value room is anywhere from $100 to $200 a night. So an extra $100, you have a firework view, Yo, a firework view, theme park view, Skyliner transportation, wonderful sit-down restaurants, quick services, lounges. This, this is really awesome. Now, when it comes to a family, I, I can see a little bit of a struggle, you know, it being a studio and all, but I really, really do love it here. And like I said, I cannot wait to see the fireworks from here. I think it's gonna be just amazing. I would rather stay here than stay at like Caribbean Beach or the Grandestino Tower. This is so beautiful. It gives you so much. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like I said, when you add in everything, the room is tiny. Now, that's just for the studio tower here. The other rooms actually are pretty decent sized and very big. Uh, the one room I stayed in was a uh, one bedroom. Well, no, it was a studio and it had separate bathrooms and it had a couch and a bed and that was beautiful. So this is only the tower section and I really like it I like seeing the magical Express coming in and dropping off guests for their vacation sad to see them take them away though nobody likes to catch the tragical Express but every day comes and you got to take it as the last one oh and then you can also see the Orlando Eye over there that is really really nice now I think we're gonna head back inside, get ready for dinner, and then also go explore the resort a little bit. I really love it here. It's very peaceful, it's a very nice resort. And uh, I'm excited for dinner. I don't think I've ever had a full meal at Topolino's before. I think I've had appetizers while I was doing like a bar crawl and stuff like that, but I've never had a sit down meal. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. 
Also, I did want to point out that there's some additional storage inside this bad boy right here. You just pull this right out. And look at that. Are these separating too? Oh, they do separate. I thought it was all one piece. I guess the more you know. I also like the updated thermostat in here. That is really nice. You know, some of the uh, other resorts actually still have the dial on them, but this one is fancy. Nice, nice and cold, nice and cold. That's the way we like it. Before we actually start going out and enjoying the resort, I want to show you guys something a little bit bigger. I'm showing you the smallest room uh, at Disney World, but here's one of the biggest rooms. Now I want to show you guys the largest room at the Riviera and wait till you see the size of this grand villa. So we're staying in the smallest room, but this right here, holy moly. Look at it. This is crazy, right? Like <laughs> the room that we're staying in right now is basically like the closet to this room. Three bedrooms and they're all just so amazing. Look at this, one, two, two beds in here, and then you got two more beds in here, and then all the way down here is the master bedroom, but you walk through the living room, the dining room, which has a gigantic dining room table, and then I think the master bedroom will be right over here, and look at how beautiful. Tons of amazing views, a beautiful bathroom. I love these tubs. This is gorgeous. Something like this, I couldn't even tell you how much it would cost. The walk-in shower is probably the size of the whole bathroom in the studio tower. That is amazing, isn't it? I love it. How cool was that? So most of the Disney Vacation Club rooms actually have open houses where you can just walk in and just explore. So I decided to check out that grand villa and show you guys. Now I wanna head all the way downstairs and check out the campfire. But first I wanted to stop and look at all these amazing photos of Walt. These are beautiful. Look at Walt with that hat. Seriously, that is amazing. I would love to have some of these photos, not like the actual ones, just copies and just have them hanging on my wall. I would definitely take that one. Our reservation for Topolino's is in just about 30 minutes. So we're gonna be able to go out and check out the campfire and a little bit of the outdoor activities here at the Riviera. We got the bocce court over there, and then we got some cornhole over here, and it's fancy Riviera cornhole. I think I might throw a bag here. You know, I don't know, it's been a while, so it'd be interesting if uh, I still got it. I don't think I've ever had it, but maybe, who knows? Here we go. Step right here. One shot. Totally missed. Okay, one redo, here we go. One redo. Totally missed. <laughs> My cornhole game, I guess, uh, is non-existent, so <laughs> we're going to move along, but wow, stop and just take a look at how beautiful this is. I love it. Just seeing all of the Skyliners go by, you got the pool on the other side, and the campfire is up here. It looks like they're getting it ready right now. I don't know if it's fully up and running, but we'll check it out. I have made it to the campfire and they actually have something special here at the Riviera. They have, a, you know, your traditional s'more kit, but it's got shortbread Mickey cookies, honey marshmallows, and then caramel crispies. And it comes in a nice little thing like this. And it's just so beautiful. I cannot wait to try this. Now I know I said I'm going to dinner, but I can't pass this up. I can't. <laughs> I cannot even believe it. It's $6 to get this marshmallow kit. Now, you can get regular plain marshmallows for free, but look at this. Honey marshmallows, and then the Mickey shortbread, and then the chocolate, and then there's the caramel crispies. So we're gonna make a fancy s'more. Friends here. There was All right, we're gonna put the honey marshmallows on. <laughs> look at these and then I've got my sandwich all set up once they get done toasting and we're gonna make a nice little s'more this is such a cool experience especially with this view I mean that's breathtaking you know and I love camping out and doing a little fire thing this might be my new favorite one actually just because of the unique s'mores 
there we go. Put it right in there. Oh, they'll melt. I like the uh, I like the marshmallows a little bit burnt. It's like some people like perfectly toasted. I'm all about the burnt marshmallows. Oh, okay, there you go. Just not on fire burnt, because then we blow them out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Just like a birthday candle. Oh, they do melt. I see it's starting to fall off. It's like they they melt, melt, not catch on fire. Ooh. Oh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. We got to hurry. We're losing it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. We're going to set that there. There you go. See, we made it. It actually worked perfectly. And then we're going to slide this on there. Oh, wait. We're going to add the caramel crispies on here. Oh, you should. Oh, what? What was it? I was. No. All right, now this fell apart a little bit, but we're gonna give it a bite and it's gonna cause a mess I already know but it's okay. It's a mess. I welcome and accept. It's actually already a mess It's all over my fingers <laughs> Here we go That is probably my favorite s'more ever so the problem is the reason it fell apart is because the shortbread cookie is soft and not crispy it doesn't hold together like a graham cracker it is just very like ooey gooey delicious that was so cool and it was only six dollars for that kit but i mean you can get the free marshmallows all you want but who wouldn't want honey marshmallows i had to get it and i'm so happy i did because now i'm gonna remember that i'm gonna remember riviera has the best campfire we need to get up to our dinner reservation though i'm very excited to try the food up there and it's actually right up there at the very tippity top all the way up to the 10th floor This is much like the California Grill, where they have an outdoor viewing area where you can actually go out to the top level of the Riviera and you can watch the fireworks. But since we are gonna be watching the fireworks from our balcony in our room, we won't be here that late. But I do wanna take you out there and just give you a look at everything around the Walt Disney World Resort. I mean, you can see Hollywood Studios, you can see the boardwalk, you can see everything from up here and it's beautiful. Here is a look at the menu. I think I'm gonna get myself a Kroningberg 1664 Lager from France. And then also, I don't know if I'm gonna be interested in any of the antipastis or the starters. I think I just might dive right to the filet. Comes with a potato puree, pickled scallions, onion au jus, and I don't know, right up my alley. I don't think I've had a Kroningburger in quite a while and these are actually pretty good. They do have the white ale But I went with the uh, 1664 and probably the last time I had it was at Epcot. It's a very very delicious beer not a very high IBU and uh, Yeah, I like it. So cheers. I Also had to take my hat off. This is definitely one of those uh, Establishments where it's definitely gentlemen like to take the hat off. And I always try to obey by that You know sometimes I feel like quick services and character dining, but Overall, you should always take your hat off whenever you're dining. So anyways. <laughs> the table setup is so beautiful. Look at this knife. That's going to be really nice to cut into the filet. And of course, I went uh, Pittsburgh style. You know how I like it. Reserve French olive oil, compliment the bread. Very fancy. <laughs> Thank you. I love how they have the little Riviera symbol right there and take a look at this bread service That is beautiful, isn't it? I am really gonna enjoy this now. This is complimentary bread But they do have kind of like a cheese focaccia bread as the appetizer that you can get But since this actually comes with your meal already I decided to just stick this and have this as my kind of appetizer I'm also a little interested into seeing what the dessert they have to offer. Now, I had the marshmallow s'mores downstairs, but like, you know, I don't know the next time I'm going to be here actually enjoying a meal. So I do want to look at the desserts, but now I think I'm going to dive into the bread. Got to test out the bread. I like the overall look of it. I'm going to break it apart right there. Nice and crisp and hard. So it should be going good with the oil. That's the way. I do feel fancy with my dinner napkin on my uh, my knee here. Look at that. It says Topolino's right there. So we're gonna try the bread here. Okay. 
very good oil but I always get confused because Italians do it differently the French do it differently sometimes I like a little pepper in my oil maybe some Parmesan how about you guys how do you like your oil but this one is actually a very good consistency Maurice hurry up the baguettes <laughs> and just like that the main course has arrived. Look at that beautiful steak. Like I said, I went Pittsburgh mid-rare, so it's got a nice cool pink center, and we got some potato puree, and this just looks phenomenal. I like how it's got the little char on the outside. This is right up my alley, like I said. I'm excited to dive in, so we're just gonna jump right to it. Usually I like to just taste the steak on its own, so we're gonna get just a nice little piece right here. Look at how easy that is to cut. Like that is, that is perfect. Once we try the steak on its own, then we'll add it with the potatoes and the other sauces. And I'm excited, here we go. <laughs> why am I holding my fork this way? <laughs> Look at that, why? I don't even know why this is happening. <laughs> but, oh well. Perfectly cooked, just the way I like it. I can't wait to try this potato puree over here. Oh, maybe I'll just try a little bit on its own. Oh wow, that is amazing. Oh, much too good. Now this steak is very, very good. It's gonna be hard to rank up there with some of the best steaks that I've had. Uh, I have yet done Yachtsman. Hopefully very soon I'll make my way over there. But to this date, I think I'm really torn between Shula's, which is, that was one of my best steaks I've had at Disney property. The Cellier was amazing. California Grill, that big Texas uh, ribeye was so, so good. And uh, yeah, those are like my top three. Uh, I don't think this is in my top three, but it's probably in my top like 10, you know? And uh, I, I'm excited to try uh, Yachtsman and Bull and Bear. Bull and Bear, definitely. Now we're gonna try swirling it around and all the different juices and sauces at the bottom of the plate. Look at this. So many good combinations of flavor. That's how you want to get it. Get all that. Got to soak it up. Add a little bit of that potato puree on there and we got a nice meat and potato bite. That's how I like it. So here we go. So, so good. And honestly, the steak on its own is cooked like perfectly the way I want it. But the thing that really enhances this steak and actually makes it not just like an average filet is the potato puree and the onion. This onion is so good. And you pair it up with the steak along with the potato puree because I feel like potato puree isn't just like a fancy word for mashed potatoes. These are so creamy and it's just, it's an amazing combination. The last time that I actually stayed here at the Riviera, I did the sunset video and in order for me to do the sunset video, I came up here to Topolino's who were opening up for breakfast at I believe 7 a.m. and the sunset was happening around 6-ish. So uh, I came up here and because they were setting up for breakfast service, they uh, told me I can film from the patio to get the sunrise, but they'd have to lock me out there and they wouldn't let me back in until the breakfast service actually started. So I sat out there with coffee for almost two hours and it was the best two hours I ever spent. If you haven't had a chance, go watch that sunset video from my first day here at the Riviera. Maybe I'll put the uh, video link in the description. It was so beautiful. But I have completely demolished my steak. It was so amazing. And now it's time for dessert. And I noticed they had a pistachio mousse on the menu. And I love pistachio. Anything pistachio, I gotta get. So that's what we're trying. 
after that, I think we'll go take a stroll out to the balcony and just kind of hang out there for a little bit, take in all the views, and then head back to the room for fireworks. And here it is, the pistachio mousse. This looks so good, doesn't it? Very fancy, and it comes with the cherries, and I can't wait to dive into it. Honestly, it always comes down to the pretty desserts, and you don't want to ruin it because it just looks so amazing. <laughs> but you're gonna, I have to, right? Like, I don't want to, but I got to. I gotta. Here we go. Look at that. I'm gonna grab a little cherry here, scoop seed potato, and then perfect. There we go. All in one bite. Oh, that's good. That's some good stuff right there. The little chocolate cake at the bottom is perfect. And I love how they have one pistachio up top here. I think I want to try to get that pistachio. Come on. Come with me. Come with me. And you'll see a world of a pistachio falling on my spoon. It's so funny how the pistachio fell on the spoon like that. But I really do love this dessert. Uh, the dessert is probably the biggest highlight. I really, really love pistachio. So this fit in perfectly for me. Now that we've finished up with our dessert, it's time to head out to the terrace and just take a look-see. It's got a pull, not push, at the beautiful views. Look at it out here. Everything's like crystal blue. You can see the Hollywood Tower Hotel right there in the distance and then all the way on the other side is going to be epcot but just look at the skyliner gold the pool down there our room is actually had a quarter like right in this corner but on the other side now i asked and there's only 18 tower rooms so we're really lucky that we actually got that room and i just think it's so beautiful here down here is the main pool area look at that slide right there see maybe i uh maybe i might go for a dip a little bit later I do love uh, checking out the different swimming pools. Usually I don't film it though because I don't like filming uh, you know, people as they're swimming. Oh, and then look, Movies Under the Stars is happening right there. This is so cool seeing everything from up here. I thought maybe we would be able to see Magic Kingdom from here, but I guess you can't. But it looks like uh, on the movie Under the Stars, they're actually showing Happily Ever After. I can hear the music from here. Right now they're at the uh, Genie part. <laughs> but now I think it's time we head back down to our room. Also, look at the swan and dolphin lit up so beautiful over there. We're going to have such an amazing firework view when we get down there, though. I'm excited because I never had an Epcot firework view. I don't know if this resort is, like, the only one that actually offers it. Like, I'm talking a full firework view. I know you can see it kind of from the boardwalk and from... Uh, uh, what's it called? Beach Club, but this one you basically see all of World Showcase Lagoon. Now that we're back in the room, I do have one thing I find kind of as an issue with this room. There's no lights. They have one light, two lights. That's it. So you have two lights, and that's all. You have the main light right here, which is a beautiful like chandelier effect on the ceiling. And then you have the bathroom light and that's it. That's the only two lights that you have. So it's kind of fairly dark. I was wondering if maybe, do I have a message? I don't even know I can get a message in here. Is that what the red flashy button means? The queen, she's coming. No, it wasn't the queen. It was just a, a message to let me know that they're going to be testing the fire system tomorrow. So, good to know. But, back to what I was saying. There's no lights. I thought maybe this was a light, but no light. Maybe a light in the bed? I didn't check that out. Like, maybe they have some spotlights. No, I don't see any. Nope. Got some USB ports over there, though. Any lights in here? No lights. So, like, literally... Two lights. Well, it's about that time for Epcot Forever to happen, so we're gonna grab ourselves a good old Bud Light in my fridge in the living room. Very easy and convenient. And we're gonna head out to the patio and uh, enjoy a little Epcot Forever. Ooh. I really can't get over the size of this room. This is, <laughs> it, it, it's so convenient because everything is just compact, but it just seems so strange. I feel like, 
I'm at a closet, but we're gonna go out to the balcony now. Ooh, my beer is cold. Yeah, we gotta push, not pull. And here we are. The beautiful night skies. Oh, do you see those blue lights right there? That's test track, actually. Oh, I can see the test track cars actually on the track. That is the coolest thing ever. And Spaceship Earth is looking beautiful. The sunset is happening right there. You can see that orange glow. And right here is gonna be where Epcot Forever shoots off. So cheers, my friends, to Epcot Forever on the balcony at the Riviera. Holy moly, guys. I just saw fireworks and I was like, wait a second. Epcot Forever doesn't start till nine o'clock, but Happily Ever After starts at 845. And take a look at that. You get a double firework view. So that means you get to see Happily Ever After over Spaceship Earth and then Epcot Forever. This literally makes this room so amazing. But does anybody else think that is so cool? That's Happily Ever After right there. So you have Happily Ever After and you never get to see that angle of the fireworks shooting over Spaceship Earth. And then to the right over here, we're gonna have Epcot Forever. I wonder if Happily Ever After runs past nine o'clock cause then we're gonna see both fireworks at the same time and that'll just be mind blowing. I think I am officially sold that this is one of the best rooms on Walt Disney property. Happily Ever After and Epcot Forever. That is so amazing. This is great. I'm having the time of my life out here. Also, I want to point out all the pavilions actually lighting up and flashing all different colors. I don't know if you can see it all, but isn't that so amazing? Can you imagine seeing Harmonious from here? Here it is, the finale.
and I guess with that we are calling it a night. How amazing was the fireworks? Telling you, the more and more I stay in this room, the more I am impressed by it. I think this is a fantastic room. Now, I don't think it's fantastic for a family. A couple definitely can make it really well in here or just a single person by themselves. It was so amazing to watch the fireworks both happily ever after and Epcot forever. And I'm just, I'm, I'm real, I really do love the Tower Studio at Riviera. I'm sold on it. I think it is such an amazing place to stay. Anywho's, thank you so much to Jake and Krista. They actually are my friends who gave me the points to stay here because the points were gonna expire and they couldn't use them. So I ended up coming and staying instead. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it and uh, We'll see you next time. Bye.